Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Smoke Learning Channel. With Smoke 2016, there have been numerous updates to all aspects of the software. In this video, we'll cover the project and user updates. Starting on the left, you have the host pull-down menu to log into any network smoke system for a collaborative workflow using shared libraries. Or alternatively, you can use the method of wiring clips between smoke systems in order to copy work between different systems and different projects. For most cases, when you are working in a project on your current system, your local smoke system is referred to as the host. Another common scenario is to use multiple storage attachments for different projects. So the smoke could have a local storage, but it also could be attached to a SAN. Now when it comes to project selection, you do not need to select a storage volume to view the projects on that specific volume. This is an automatic process. So here you have the project selection. If you open the pull-down menu, all your projects on every available volume will be listed. You can sort by name, date, etc. But as you would expect, you can also sort by volume. In the pull-down menu, you can see the volume to project association. Now when it comes to project creation, you can only create projects from the startup screen. You can switch projects when you're inside the application, but you cannot create new ones. This limits the potential of carrying over another project settings if it has become corrupted. So for project creation, you enter into the project creation window and you choose the volume at the same time as you set up the project. This gives you better visibility to see where your projects will be created. For existing artists, the layout has been tweaked for better clarification compared to previous versions. But all the relevant options for project creation are still here. A new option to highlight is the nickname entry. This optional text box allows you to abbreviate the name of the project. So when you export media, you can add the nickname as part of the naming tokens in order to identify the origin of the media. You also have the same option in the user creation, so you could identify who worked on a sequence. Moving on to the tabs below, you can select the intermediate format you wish to use for this project. This includes uncompressed formats, as well as all ProRes flavours including ProRes 4444XQ. And you also have access to the settings for the newly updated proxy workflow for Smoke 2016. Just as an extra tip, please note that once you set your project proxy settings, you cannot edit them in the middle of a project. You can learn more about the updated proxy workflow in a future video. Now once your project has been created or selected, you have a few other considerations. When you return back to the main startup screen, you will find an explicit workspace selection pull-down menu. In terms of the project structure, each project starts off with one workspace environment. This is normal if only one system is working on a single project. If you start collaborating with other smoke systems, each system will have its own workspace tied into the project. However, using the workspace selection, you can log into any workspace within the project and access all the associated work. You can also access the different workspaces through the Project tab in the Media Hub. This gives you the ability to rename and delete workspaces within the current project. Please ensure to safely back up your work prior to deleting media and sequences. For now, you have a clear and concise indication as to what project you're using, as well as the workspaces you will be accessing for this project. The next topic I'd like to briefly discuss is the user profile. When going to create a new user, the user profile now stores default layouts as well as preferences and keyboard shortcuts. So when you use a smoke profile, 
the project will start up using the source sequence viewers. The media panel will contain an empty sequence in the library that is conducive to a smoke artist. Using the flame profile will give you a slightly different starting point in the interface. Because these are default settings, every new project you create with your user will have the matching layout. Finally, here are some housekeeping tips. When you look at the project selection, you can also sort by software version. It's also really useful to know that you should be able to convert old projects into the latest version. The other small functionality is that you can now delete projects from older versions. This means you do not have to have multiple installs of the software to be able to clear out any old projects. More videos coming soon for Smoke 2016. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Smoke Learning Channel for future videos.